here. Well, he was drunk, so you got the Russian story right. Well, uh, he was traveling with his wife on the train. Um, his wife said it, that her husband had not been feeling well, which is kind of a side effect of drinking a lot of oh, alcohol. I already know what happened. He just opens the door and walks right out, right? Suicide? Yes. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll tell you it. what happened. <laughs> um, so when I originally read this story, I, I thought it was a little more funnier. It still is funny to me. So I didn't realize that above uh, the seats uh, where you would normally store your luggage and cargo, they have little sleeping areas. Why don't we have that here in the U.S.? We never try anything, you know? Our trains don't go anywhere enough to sleep, you know? I mean, they, they do have them. You just pay extra. But I'm talking about like where we what we do travel on as airplanes, and there's no sleeping compartments. Why? They we do. Need to, you, you've extra. just never been in first class, Joe, where you recline all the back. <laughs> it's <laughs> true. You can Have you lean back? And... <laughs> no. I've seen movies. I'm talking about a bed. I don't want to lean back. I want to. I want to. Yeah, bed. that's not standard accommodations for other countries. It you should pay a lot be. of money for that. It should be here. Now I'm just gonna be wishing I was sleeping the whole time. Okay, sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> well, now that we've gotten so off track. Off, off track here. Literally, what happened is he fell out of bed. <laughs> on like, the train. Why well, he was drunk? So these drunk tra- guy falls out of bed on the so train. So they're supposed to put the seatbelts on. They have a seatbelt on for when you're up there sleeping. Wait, you sleep with a seatbelt on? No, it's uh, not yeah, so it's, good. Just, it's, like, a, it's, it's just, just like it's just like a strap. You know, it's not like a. It's, they strap it's you so down. You don't like, fall like, out. Do you like not a believe in seatbelts, Adam? What is it? <laughs> It's cargo net. That's actually they what they might, should put as a cargo they net. They might start doing those things like how on. they do outside of like Apple in, in Japan or China, wherever those are. They put those safety nets for people trying to jump off the building. <laughs> That's where your uh, mind goes when somebody mentions a cargo they net. Have have for the suicide. <laughs> yeah. Okay. They should put those up like they do by bridges. <laughs> so he didn't put on his, you know, crazy security suit. It's not a crazy day. security suit. It's get get out of here with this okay i picture like the old metal clicking belts and you know just click around your waist and you fall asleep type of thing that might be it i don't know <laughs> it what would that be so bad I'm gonna i mean clearly it's necessary like... you're climbing up pretty well drunk i don't even know how he got up there in the first place and uh probably took a while just took <laughs> his wife probably had to help quite a bit okay i think i've, I've found what they're talking about guys did you find a picture of it Let's see. i did let me show you guys. Okay, so right. it is kind of what I thought. It's more of a strap for the bed itself, not so much for the person. You see this type of thing? It's like a bunch of pictures have these these little nets, these little like ropes that hold you. Well, so it's kind of like off. a cargo net. So you don't roll yeah, so off. It's not, so it's not like strapping you So down. he didn't put it's those up like on the train and he rolled off and died. Is that what happened? And died. There you go. That's what happened. <laughs> That's exactly what happened. <laughs> That's crazy. Stupid Would you move. do you do you Adam? Do you think this is a Darwin Award? Drunk guy climbs up on a train to lay <laughs> lays down, doesn't use a seatbelt, and uh, dies. You know I say I Darwin better, Award, man. I bet our patrons mm. think this is Darwin. <laughs> Shut you up! You're not going to get them. A- I don't know. <laughs> if you get in a car accident, and they're they're smart. Belt, is that a Darwin? <laughs> right. Smart people. I personally don't care about seatbelts, but I I accept the fact if I die not wearing a seatbelt. The Darwin Award. Or if you're totally drunk on a train and you try to decide to climb up a bit and sleep. You don't. Was, yeah. That's a Darwin it's Award. It's definitely like, a you funny put way yourself to go. In that I'll situation. Give you that. It's a funny way to go. Rolling okay. off a train bed. It definitely is. And oh, dying some freaking z- how. This is 0% his fault. He must it's absolutely his, head. his fault. He must hit his drunk. Head well, well, did the train come to a stop or did he just roll out of bed and just kill himself on accident? You know, just. It eventually came to a stop. <laughs> all, I, all trains must end. Um, do, if the train comes to a stop, how would that make you roll? Because uh, you're not laying. You're not oh, laying, you're right. Well, it you're depends laying, where the You're bed with is. the train, so you, like, your feet might hit up against the thing, but it's not going to make you oh, roll out. I didn't of the know bed. we're going that way. I think you're perpendicular with the train. You know, you're like no, you're parallel with the train. How do you know that? I, the pictures how is it just, possible to be perfect? You ever been in one of those car booths? You you open the door and you go in the. Oh, was this place? Harry Potter? I've never been on a train like that oh. before. <laughs> the Hogwarts Express. <laughs> they did the, they're like that, maybe you know, not here, but. <laughs>